You are the only person I know who brings their own tea bags to Starbucks. <laughs> it's got to be Yorkshire tea. <laughs> Denzel does that in the equaliser, you know, because he's got OCD, he goes to the cafe thing and he asks him for hot water, but he brings his own tea bags. All right, I'm back, and uh, Mrs. Beer's back, more importantly. A lot of her, uh, her fans have, have been missing her presence. I gotta tell you though, that last one, um, that last episode left a bit of a, a bit of taste in my mouth. Could be the coffee though. <laughs> <laughs> let's, should we do it? Let's, uh, we, we need to set off, let's, let's drive. Let's get it! <laughs> See it? Oh, there it is, Playhouse. Where? Purple on the left. Oh, there, yeah. Well, it's, it's green and purple. I might be able to park in there, then. Oof, I don't know if you know what you're like with parallel parking. Just in the interest of keeping the video nice and short and punchy, I cut out the, the parking debacle element. We've seen that before, but uh, are we ready? Let's get inside. Let's go! I didn't shout. We got down here on time an hour ago. We just had to wait an hour for, for Mrs. Beard to park. I was thought it was, no, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, so what pizza would you like? Uh, I don't know, what do, you, what do you recommend? Well, we've actually got a really popular wing thing, pizza. Yeah. Um, and it's won an award. I would yeah. love to tell you what award it was, but <laughs> we did win an award for it. Um, and it's just, it's amazing. It's, What's it it's, called? Uh, the wing thing. So it's wing buffalo thing. fried chicken. Um, and it's On a pizza? On a pizza, that's yeah, wild. it is. That's why it won the award. Ah. Um, but yeah, honestly, it's really tasty. If you like spice, I don't like spice. You can't really tell from that angle how quite how big it is. I think it should be doable. Although the crust looks pretty thick. The crust does look thick. What is it? Forty-five minutes. I'm still pretty confident. Thing. Right, so today I'm at a place called Playhouse, which is in Northampton, and I'm taking on their uh, Don't tell me because it's got a cool name uh, Meet a defeat a challenge uh, you get 45 minutes right to finish a meter of pizza And if you finish it inside 45 minutes, you get it on the house. This is baby's food. And this is the meet a defeat a challenge Who's gonna That was a dramatic 3 2 one. Ish What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We well, hope you're all fine and dandy this week. And of course, thanks for joining me for another episode. Today I'm at a place called The Playhouse in Northampton, taking on their Meter Defeater Challenge, which is not just a clever name because um, it's so far unbeaten, meaning it has defeated everyone who came before. That said, it is a relatively new food challenge. It's only been around since January, but that's why I, I, I turned up. Um, and yeah, it's uh, a meter of pizza. It costs 27 quid, but if you can finish it inside 45 minutes, not only is the meal free, but you get a spot on the coveted wall of fame too. The usual kind of deal, you know how it goes by now. I don't know why I went with that first. <laughs> We're gonna have to get professional now. <laughs> Please, if you're going to be professional, you wouldn't have worn that ridiculous looking jumper. Look at it. I'm a little bit addicted to these though, the minute, you know, like jumpers made out of flannels. Um, I, I don't know why, it's just a bit warm. What's this guy doing walking in front of the camera? Just it. <coughs> <laughs> Crispy fried chicken on pizza tastes really odd, but at the same time, really nice. I didn't expect it. <laughs> you did say it was a water win, yeah, multiple times. <laughs> Yeah, I, I must confess, I never did find out what award they were referring to. I mean, I could call myself an award-winning YouTube video maker, um, but it would be a lie. <laughs> Not that I'm suggesting they're lying, but uh, it was a good pizza. Look at this. That's like a toddler asking his bum for a new toy or something. Come on now. Still, there's a long road ahead. We, we must clean up. It is of utmost importance. Whoever's on that dance machine, choose something other than steps. <laughs> Have they got any Slayer or something? Imagine Dance Dance Revolution, but with Slayer. I don't think that would work. Still, anything's preferable to steps. Thank you, Mrs. Bird. <laughs> I should have got you a meter of uh, 
Of garlic bread? <laughs> yeah, that's what we're looking for. A little bit of crowd participation. There was a very pleasant group of youths off camera who actually, to their credit, watched the whole thing. Somebody keeps waving at me over there. How are you doing? You okay? What a save. Well, thank you, guys. Holding good. You're still under 10 minutes in. Oh. <laughs> You've got 36 minutes left. You need that. I need some. My trigonometry skills aren't, <laughs> aren't, aren't what they should be. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Why, thank you, thank you very much. Four words every man wants to hear. <laughs> it is pretty spicy. <clears throat> Starting to hit me now. Yeah, I mean, on the whole, this wasn't that spicy, but by accumulation, it did start to become a bit uncomfortable. <sighs> I'm going for the dip once I guess across. Oh, yeah. Are you sure you didn't sneak a ghost chili in there somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Stop being such a drama queen. It wasn't that bad. I mean, I, I didn't have to go with a spicy pizza. I could have gone with a predictable pepperoni or supreme or something like that. But uh, once you mentioned that it was spicy, my pride kind of prevented me from backing out. <laughs> At that point. Anyway, right now we're, we're pretty much done with most of the internal uh, moist and pleasant stuff, and now it's just the cold crusts, as, you know, as per usual. <laughs> this is dedication to my craft. Yeah, she'll give me a hard time if I don't eat every crumb. <laughs> it's true. Mrs. Beard is, as you know, a hard taskmaster. Look at me throttling this pizza dough. <laughs> How hot is it? I know it's both real. Yeah, the bond of trust with that waitress is gone. I'm no longer open to her sauce suggestions. But I am about to try some hot honey, just because I love honey, so I thought I, I should probably give it a shot. Oh, it, it doesn't smell too bad. Yeah, it smells pungent enough for you to put it down and continue on with the garlic and herb dip, or whatever this is. Some kind of green thing with flecks of vegetation in it. It was nice though, creamy, helped get the by now rather stiff crusts down and uh, I, I enjoyed this. It's a, it's a cool challenge and I think they, they began this because uh, lots of drunk people would, you know, in the wee hours say, ooh, I could definitely smash that. Uh, so they actually made it an, an official challenge. You get uh, if, you, if you win, you, you get your photo taken with a, a, a board which says defeater on it, but the R looks a bit weird, so it looks like even if you won, you were defeated. Uh, so they should probably change that. <laughs> Who made this one? <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'll leave it for that. Yeah, it's not too hot. Yeah, fortunately, this one was more honey than it was hot, if that makes sense. And I love honey. I could just love honey. Is that the name of a, an adult um, paraphernalia website? Could be. <laughs> this is not a sponsor. <laughs> um, yeah, I loved it. it, it the, the honey acted as a, a nice bridge to dessert territory, which is my favorite kind of territory. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're, we're just laughing because that waitress is ducking to try and get out of line of sight of the camera without knowing, I think, quite how wide the, the shot was. She, she almost managed it. I think I've been live streamed off camera to some guy called Dave. Hi, Dave. <laughs> That's most of chewing done now. Just the 21 minutes. I've just got some fried chicken to do. Yeah, just a bit of housekeeping to do. And actually, on the topic of housekeeping, I said I'd say hello to a member of staff here at the Playhouse called Chris. Who was the only person here, apparently, who actually watches my videos. <laughs> but he wasn't here on this particular day, so he missed the, the experience. Almost, almost. Almost indeed. It's not as good in real life, though, Chris, if you're watching, so you, you didn't miss much. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one!
Thank you. Well, do you have a dessert menu? Oh, I, knew that he'd, I knew he'd like that. <laughs> Salted caramel gelato here. My nose is actually still running. I didn't think it was going to be that spicy. Ooh. It's good. Mrs. Big can't be any worse driving on here than in real life. You get a, a little race license here. I'm going to go up to the track, see if I can beat Mrs. Beard. Fastest lap so far of the whole race is Beard Meets Food at 9.85. So he's actually leading with the fastest lap so far. Black and right on the left hand side here for the Herbie. You were going backwards at one point, like actually backwards. Yeah, I did nearly a full lap backwards. The reason I think I came dead last was though, because... You can't drive? 